another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you the difference between the opacity and flow settings on the brush as well as how the airbrush setting works. So I'm using just a regular blue color and relatively small brush uh, with a hard edge and the opacity and flow are both at 100%. So when I paint I get a regular line with a hard edge. If I set the opacity, this is how see-through the brush is when I paint. So it's at 20%, so 20% visible. And if I sort of go over it, it's always at 20%. If I want to make it darker, I have to brush again on the same spot, and then I'll get a darker color. If I put the flow at 20%, that's how fast the paint comes out of the brush. So when I brush now, it will come out at 20% also makes this sort of jaggedy line and but if I go over top of something I've already painted it'll get darker without lifting up the mouse button like I had to over here. So the difference between that and having this airbrush setting on is when I click and hold in one spot it gets darker with the airbrush setting on and if I have the airbrush off when I click and hold it just stays at this same 24% and I have to move to make it darker at all. So if I have both of these at 100% and a completely hard brush, using this airbrush setting doesn't do anything. Or if I'm using a softer brush with my edge, being soft, you can see when I click once, it's in a completely small edge. If I, I have to click a number of times to get that hard edge. If I put on the airbrush tool, when you click and hold down, it just keeps on working on the edge and makes it harder and harder. So the longer you hold in one spot, the more color you get, just like as if it were a airbrush. And that's all there is to it. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.